All right, guys, I came to the supercharger. My limit was set to 80% and my car stopped charging at 54%. I started getting all these notifications. Electrical system is unable to support all features. I got another one that was saying, um, wait for the high voltage to power up. Uh, my car is currently down. I got no gears. I can't shift. I have no air conditioning. It's hella hot right now. Uh, yeah, this really sucks. Um, I don't know what's going on, but I still got warranty. I still got warranty for motors and batteries. So that's all that matters. Uh, yeah, tow truck is an hour away. Yeah, this really freaking sucks. I've never had an issue ever with this car. I don't know what's going on. All right, uh, one of my buddies said to go into service mode and go to the low voltage section. Alerts to check for service alerts. I don't know what all this nonsense is. I don't even know what any of this is. What is going on? Okay, little battery going to the screen, going to that. I don't know what any of this stuff is. I don't even know what I'm looking at here. It's low voltage home. Keys. Tow truck drivers make. Just go good money. All day. Yeah. All right, there's my Model 3. We're heading to the service center that's not run over uh, Grandpa here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened, guys. Uh, 2022, still under warranty. I've never ever had an issue with it. I plugged my car in at the supercharger. It charges from 19% down uh, uh, all the way up to 54%. And then it just stops charging. I get a bunch of work clear on this side. Here's a golf course I've never been here before. And here's, a, here's the chargers. The local chargers. Uh, yeah, I don't know what happened. I have no idea what happened. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Piece of junk. <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys, uh, my buddy, Bar can't even speak. <laughs> All right, guys, my buddy, Brandon, uh, from Instagram, Tesla FPV said it might be, sorry, Burke, um, my boy Brandon said the issue might be the low voltage battery. So not the big battery, but the little one that's um under the front, somewhere in there, uh, the small 12 volt battery. He said that's what needs to be replaced. Um so yeah uh we'll see we'll see uh whatever the issue is as long as we're covered under warranty <laughs> we're good yeah I get those every time you come around, yeah. all right so honestly i regret buying my car uh i should not have got a model 3 um 
Worst decision ever. Uh, I should have got this model. Why, man? Look at this. It's all in one giant sunroof. There's like so much more room in this car, man. This is awesome. The trunk has a little 12 volt outlet. So yeah, super sick. And it's in white. Yeah, I like this car. I like the Model Y. Oh, the trunk extends out a little bit. Oh, and you got these big old thingies right here. Mine, the Model 3, only has a small one on the left side. You don't get this one on this side. And the Model Y has this. Look at that. You can plug in an outlet back here. So if you were to get, you know, a refrigerator or something, you know, you can like charge it right here. Because for the Model 3, you, you got to run a little cable on the way to the cigarette lighter up front. Now what's over here? Oh, wow. There's even more storage down here. I have no idea what this is. I'm assuming this is Tesla's. I don't think they would, uh. I don't know if my, my car doesn't come with that. But yeah, there's like a little thingy down here now for storage. Wow, look at all that. I mean, you can't fit much right there, but you know, you can fit something. Yeah. What do these do? I don't know what this does. I love how this right here is just flat. In the Model 3, this right here is not flat. Um, it sinks down, so yeah, so far this Model Y is a lot more comfortable than my, my Model 3. A lot more roomier too. I'm just laying down back here, man. This is way more comfortable than my Model 3. Yeah, I should have definitely gotten the Model Y from the beginning. All right, it's my second day in the Model Y. I just gave it a fresh wash. Um, yeah, this car was filthy when I got it. It's all good. Uh, vacuumed it, cleaned it, and man, yeah, no, I, my, my next Tesla is definitely gonna be a Model Y, like, for sure. Yeah, this thing is amazing. Um, we're pulling up right now with the supercharger. Gonna go plug it in, uh, and then let's go uh, have fun with this. What up guys, I'm finally back in my car. I finally got it back from Tesla. Um, yeah, so the grand total came out to $2,400. Uh, they So what happened was the power conversion system failed and I, I'm, I, it's, okay, so I'm new to electric cars myself, all right? Um, the power conversion system basically charges the 12 volt battery so that went out so the 12 volt battery also you know died so uh i had to replace the power conversion system and i had to replace the 12 volt battery anyways um i still got warranty on the big battery and motors that's the important stuff uh yeah so 2400 bucks to get this car fixed um i got it back though time for some more road trips 